Welcome back, of course, to GMSA at 9. If you're just joining us, we're coming to you live from a cool place called Makerspace. It's right here in the Harlandale ISD. Yes, and this is a hub for students in Harlandale ISD to get some hands-on experience for the industries they'll be working in in the future. We're going to tell you all about that in just a minute. Mm -hmm. So Harlandale is one of the schools participating in TRL Productions Bear Fest. We told you guys a little bit about it. It's a six-month program where students get to work with local nonprofits to create marketing apps assets like promotional videos, graphics, and so much more. And that's why we're here. It is match day Yay. and 32 schools are learning which organization that they're going to be paired with today. So now we've already showed you some of those matches earlier in the newscast and we mm -hmm. have more on the way. But first, why we're here, we're here. This is Makerspace yes. and Devin Karp shows us inside. Even though this new makerspace in Harlandale ISD has only been around for a year. So we built our mini like video lab over here. You can see that we have the entire green screen wall. It's already taken more than 2,000 kids to lights, camera, and action with everything in between. And when I use the word makerspace, I really do mean a place for makers to make. Megan Guerrero tells me everything from drones navigating an obstacle course to robots grabbing blocks is all just the beginning. This is like the entry, this is the minimum, this is the basic. The Makerspace is a repurposed school building filled with different rooms where students can learn to make a podcast, create 3D printed designs, even sew their own clothes and learn how to stream on Twitch. When they described it to me, I was like, race cars playing soccer, it's weird. And then yeah. I played, I was like, I love it. That's the best, <laughs> come on. All computers and some of the equipment are built by students, a key part of helping them find curiosity in learning. It's what changes a student from, from maybe not being into school into being into school because now they know this is what I'm interested in, this is how I can make this. The faculty here meets kids where they are, teaching them in their interests, whether that means it's filming a TikTok or playing eSports. I do see this place becoming a community center where our students are in and out of it at all times, even after school. The districts want students to be able to take the skills they learn here and translate them into the real world opportunities. What do you hope that they leave this place thinking about on the bus ride home? Possibilities are within their grasp. That, that, you know, this isn't something that only happens on a different side of town or that they have to leave our area to obtain these opportunities. They can have exposure and experiences. I also want them to think like, oh my God, that's the coolest place I've ever been. I'm Devin Carp, KSAT 12 News.